Hi, this is Code Red. I'm here. I'm showing you this new website I found called Code CodingBat.com. It's uh, it has Java and Python. They're kind of like problems. It's like a workbook, but online, and uh, you have to try to solve and return what they want you to return. That's uh, correct. It's a pretty cool website. I like it. Uh, let's see, we'll start off with the first one. So let's do if it's not a weekday, and let's see, or vacation is true then we will return oh return ah not reach run there we go uh true that we can sleep in now else if one of those if it's a weekday or if we're not on vacation then we return false we can't sleep in then so we'll press go and we got it all right so there's the first one. Let's go to the next one. Right here, we have two monkeys. If they're both smiling or neither of them are smiling, then return that we're in true, that we're in trouble. So let's see. If a smile is the same, whoa. Okay, there we go. Is the same as B's smile. Uh, let's see. We will return. Uh, true we're in trouble else we return okay there we go turn false sorry if I sound a little nasally I have a cold right now uh, it's not fun but I'll get over it soon so let's press go and we got them all right now over here it says they're all correct there's an okay and with the green bar ne green bar next to it and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, here I'll show you the progress graph. Oh, this one's not a good one to show you because I guess I got it right on my first try. Uh, let's see, we'll go and we'll do the next one then. So, let's see, this one if they're ret we have to return their sum, and if the uh, two values are the same, return double their sum. Okay, so we'll make an integer variable called sum. We'll make it equal to a plus b. And see right here, it's a method right here, so they have the variables. It tells it's an integer a and an inter integer b. And so uh, that's what we're putting in here. And then we'll do if, uh, let's see, a is the same as b, then we will return uh, sum times 2. Now, of course, there are other ways to do these, but I'm just doing the simplest ways. When I first did some of them, I took I did a long way to get to it, but these are the faster ways, the sh uh, least amount of uh, code that I know of. So, uh, let's see, so return that, right? Else, and we'll do return false, and there we go. Let's see if we got it right. Oh. I miss. Let's see, where did I get it wrong? See, this is a compile problem. Oh, oops. Haha, <laughs> not false. What was I thinking? Sum. There we go. I got used to the uh, to false and true stuff like that. So uh, here we go. We got them all right. Let's go to the next one. Actually, wait. Let's look at the progress. Oh, not a good one again. Okay. Let's go. And we'll go to the next one then. Let's see. Uh, we will return. So return the absolute difference between n and 21, except return double the absolute difference if n is over 21. Okay, so right, if, uh, let's see, uh, n is greater than 20, well, actually no, let's do n is less than 21. Then we will return, um, Let's see, we'll go 21 minus n. And then we'll write else. If it's over, we will return, uh, let's see, n minus 21 times 2. But to make sure we get in the right order, we have to put these in parentheses. Order of, op op order of operations. Yep, okay, so we'll go. Oh, I forgot something. Oh, forgot that.
And I forgot this too. Okay, there we go. There we go, it's all correct. So let's see if this one's a good one to look at. There we go. So, see this tells you how many you get uh, wrong, and then this tells you how many you get right. And it keeps going for every time you try to compile. The red box right there is the compile errors. And then uh, once you get them all right, it goes to green. You see it does that, and uh, it kind of shows your progress through the problem. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's go back, and let's see. Let's go to the next one. Parrot trouble, okay. So we have two parrots. If they're talking before 7 or after 20, then we return true that we're in trouble. Well, sorry, typing what I was saying. Uh, let's see. If, let's see, talking uh, is true, and hour is less than 7, or hour is uh, greater than 20, then we will return. Uh, true, we're in trouble. Well, the parrot's in trouble. Uh, else, we will return of false. So let's try it out. There we go. All correct. So uh, there's that one. Let's go to the next one. Makes 10. Okay. So this one, if there's sum is 10, return. Uh, Let's see, return true if their sum is 10 or if one of them is 10. Okay, so if A is the same as B uh, or B is the same as, uh, oh no, not B, oops, 10. And B is the same as 10 or, uh, let's see, A plus B is the same or is the same as 10. Then we will return true. Okay. Can't type today. Else we will return uh, false. Let's see. Let's press go. There we go. All correct. So there's the first few. This is a really cool website. I like it. It's very helpful to make your skills better in programming. So uh, thanks for watching. See you, see you next time.